Welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday here. If you don't know, Topic Tuesday is just an Instagram that posts a new topic every single week, nail polish related, and then you can either respond to it here or over on Instagram or really however you want. And I will have them linked down below in the description as well as my own Instagram, and I hope you guys go check both of those out. So this week's topic is what are, in your opinion, the most underrated brands? And this one was just a really tough one for me to tackle. I kind of like wrote a whole like essay over here, just trying to brainstorm. And the reason why I find it so difficult is because I feel like there's like a lot of like, I don't know if you want to call it like confirmation bias or echo chamber or, or maybe I'm not using any of these terms correctly, but it just feels like, you know, what I like is what I seek out and, you know, probably the same for a lot of people. And so sometimes when you get into certain circles, you just don't see certain stuff talked about. And then if you hop over to another, you know, section of the nail polish community, that's all they talk about. You know, there's some sections of like nail polish that they don't talk about mainstreams at all. It's all indies. And then when you go over to like mainstream heavy channels, they barely acknowledge indies exist. So it's kind of hard to determine what is truly underrated and what are you just missing out on because you're not consuming the right content, I guess you could say. So, I mean, like all of these Topic Tuesdays are pretty subjective, but like this one was the first one where I was just like, I don't know, like, can I answer this? But I am just going to talk about it, you know, from my own perspective, you know, what I know that I really like, but I don't see getting a lot of attention either on like my Instagram or my YouTube feed. And you guys let me know, you know, do you see the same thing or are you seeing reviewers talk about these brands and I'm just missing out on them. And then let me know who's reviewing these brands because I would love to know. So as per usual, like we're gonna split between mainstream and indie. So most of what I see on my YouTube feed and to a lesser extent my Instagram, cause I've been able to kind of curate that a little bit better in the recent weeks is just a lot of China Glaze because they release collections like every five seconds. Um, and SE and OPI, though, like those second two, just not as much, but it's really dominated by, you know, China Glaze, I would say. And that's, you know, I like China Glaze, so that makes sense. But um, there's a couple brands that I feel just deserve a little bit more love, and I don't really see uh, reviewed as often. So the first brand that I feel is just really underrated or not talked about too much is Orly, and I know that sounds kind of the opposite of what you think coming from me since I myself like review Orly, I do the color pass and things like that. But that's the thing, like outside of the color pass times, you know, four times a year, I never see reviews. I never really see people talking about Orly. And I mean, obviously that's because they do four collections a year, it seems, and that's kind of it. And that coincides with color pass. So, I mean, it makes sense that people don't talk about them as frequently because they're not like forcing like collection after collection after collection out. But it just seems kind of weird, I guess, because I mean, they do have the breathable line, but I don't really know the release schedule for that. So I don't even know when to look for those types of videos. And they do collabs every now and again, like they've done two Kelly Marissa collabs and they recently did a Lisa Frank collaboration. So they have stuff here and there, but it just seems like because they're not constantly pushing out collections, they don't really get as much love. And I kind of feel sad about that because I, I feel like with, you know, China Glaze, OPI, everybody, you just feel just bogged down with collection after collection after collection. And it's like my own consumerist tendencies are like, I gotta buy this one and this one and this one and this one. And it's kind of nice that Orly's like, here's your collection for the next four months or three months or whatever. I can't do math. And um, that's kind of what you get. And you get to appreciate them. And then, you know, several months later, they release another one. And they're not constantly, you know, collabing with every single person who comes their way. It seems like they, they're very picky. They're very choosy. I guess you, maybe, I'm not sure how they decide who they're going to collab with, but... It is nice to not constantly just be swarmed with new nail polishes, but on the flip side, like I said, I feel like that kind of leads to them being a more underrated brand because they're not constantly pushing stuff out under the guise of staying relevant. And so people just kind of 
forget about them until they do push something out. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this is all just from what I see. If you see it differently, I would love to hear what you have to say because maybe I'm just not following the right people. And the second brand that I have found to be severely underrated, even on my own channel, I'm guilty too, is Color Club. And I think it's kind of odd because I have a really sizable Color Club collection. Say that five times fast, Color Club collection. I love their polishes. I think they have a really good variety of finishes, of colors. I think that they have sales pretty frequently, which makes the price point pretty accessible. And yet, I have no idea when they release collections. I don't think I've ever seen anybody review an entire collection. I could not name a single collection for you if you asked me to. Whereas it's like with China Glaze, OPI, you know, all SE, every brand that I collect in mass, I could tell you four or five collections at least off the top of my head. But Color Club, I don't, there's one that I'm like, it's like Garden Party or something. And maybe that's one. I don't know because I just don't see it much. I don't see people talking about it. The only time I really see it is when I get emails of them informing me that they're having a sale. And then I hop on over there and I spend way too much on Color Club. But I realized as I was doing a little bit of looking around for this video, I, I went over to the website and I realized I was like, I don't know when they release anything. Are they on a schedule? You know, other brands, they tend to follow seasons and they have certain releases during the season. And so you can kind of track when stuff is going to come out. But with Color Club, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. And... Um, the other thing too that I, I noticed on their website is they have this new box. It's called like the monthly Manny. No, it's called Manny of the Month. And it's got like a couple polishes, I think some like nail art supplies, and it teaches you how to do a certain nail art look. And it's fairly cheap. Yeah, I just checked. You get four, it looks like full size polishes and a nail art brush for $25 and it teaches you how to do a nail art look. So I feel like that's a fun thing to do and I don't think that it's like a subscription. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that you can buy each month if you want. So it kind of makes it easier to pass if you don't want it. But yeah, I, I saw that and I was like, man, I feel so out of the loop. I have no idea what is going on in like the color club world. And I felt kind of some type of way about it, I guess. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I just was like, for a brand that I, in my heart, know that I really enjoy and love, I'm like, why do I know so? Like, why did I throw this one on the back burner? And I don't know if it's just because they don't publicize as much, they don't push as much on their social media, or maybe I just have tuned their social media out. Because this is one of those brands that you know, nobody else is really talking about, at least not on my feed. I just feel like I don't think about it too much until I open my own drawers and I'm like, oh yeah, I really like these, you know? So let me know down below if you know anybody who <laughs> reviews Color Club because I would like to be in the know about when their collections come out because I just, I feel so lost when it comes to them. Okay, so usually this is the part where <laughs> I talk about the indie side of things, but I feel like I am just not weathered enough to talk about the indie scene because I'm really only just within the past year or so getting into indies. I don't know as much about indies. I'm still uh, being introduced to a lot of indie brands, especially via Instagram and you guys in the comments. So I don't think that I can sit here and like confidently say, you know, this one is underrated because nobody talks about it because to be quite honest, everybody that I watch who does talk about indies, uh, they all talk about completely different indies. I feel like no two people are the same because the indie world is just so vast. It's just, it seems like different sections of it reach different people a lot more easily. And so I really just don't know. So because of that, I want to turn the question back to you guys and ask, what indie brands do you think are underrated? And let me know if you watch anybody who reviews predominantly indie polishes. The only person that I can think off the top of my head that I watch right now who on YouTube reviews quite a lot of indies is Polish with Ray, who is amazing, by the way. She's so funny. She's so sweet. Um, but she's the only one that I really watch who consistently has 
a lot of indie content and she does a lot of like polish pickup stuff too which is cool but that's another thing i just got into polish pickup and so that's helping me branch out but man there's so many brands there it's hard to make a decision sometimes but yeah i just feel like i'm not I guess educated enough to, to take a hard stance on underrated indie polishes. So I'll ask you guys to just let me know what are the most underrated brands that you think everybody should know about in the indie, sp indie sphere. But that's going to be it for me on this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below in the comments, like I said, if you know anybody who reviews Orly, who reviews Color Club, and who reviews specifically just indie brands in general. I really want to subscribe to more people who are doing indies so that I can kind of know what's out there. And again, let me know what is your most underrated indie brand that you love and you feel like everybody should know about. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.